All right, man. Everything you got. Get up there. Push on those feet. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, come on. There you go. You go. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Come on. Finish. Yeah, come on. This is American climber Cameron Hurst. He's the son of a legendary climbing trainer, a former American football player and athlete, and he's just climbed his first 9A plus route. Hey, I'm Cameron Hurst, and I'm a professional rock climber. I'm 20 years old, and currently I am on two gap years between high school and college, and I've just been kind of traveling around the United States trying to climb some of the hardest sport routes in the country, and I'm having some fun doing it. My background is pretty athletic. I uh, played American football throughout the course of high school and my entire school career. And then once I graduated high school, I kind of became more of a full-time climber. I always climbed throughout my life growing up, but it was only like part-time. So six months of the year, I would be a climber and the other six months of the year, I would be a football player. And it wasn't until I graduated that I could fully push myself climbing and train full-time, go on longer trips and whatnot. And now I'm kind of reaping the benefits of being able to climb full time. As far as my training and my body type between being a climber and a football player growing up, uh, my body changed slightly. Like during football season, I tried to put on 15 pounds by lifting, taking a lot of protein, eating a lot. And then once football season would end, I would cut back on my excess eating. I would dial back my weightlifting a little bit so that I could slim down and get into good climbing shape. But now I'm just climbing, being my climber weight, training like a climber so my legs are less big, uh, my pecs and shoulders are less big, which is kind of sad because I liked being big, you know? But uh, climbing, you gotta be a little slimmer. I recently just sent my first 9A plus bone tomahawk as a Joe Kinder route in the Fin Cave, which is located in Southern Utah. And um, my goal graduating high school, taking these two gap years between high school and college was to climb 9A plus. So I actually did complete that goal and I'm really psyched to have done that. But in the United States, there's not many 9A plus routes to choose from. There's some, but they're few and far between. And most of them are like kind of weird, not like you're Spain or France 9A plus routes where they're like their classic five star routes. But Bone Tomahawk, I would probably say the best out of all the 9A plus routes that are established in the United States. It's a cave route. So it's really steep, really powerful. You're doing thuggish moves the entirety of the route. Uh, I would break the route down. It's like basically 50 hard moves from ground to top. And as soon as you leave the ground, you're fully engaged and you're just basically pushing it to the top. So out of the 11 bolts of climbing, you basically do like the first seven of them with no rest. And it's probably like 8C plus slash 9A from the ground to the seventh bolt. And the hardest moves are like at the third draw, you have like a V11 boulder problem. Yeah, dude. Yeah, stuck it. Okay. Super efficient, man. Keep going. And then after that V11's done, you're basically going to, into like another two bolt V10 slash V11 boulder problem. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. It's looking so good. Oh, 
Come on. Come on, Cameron. Keep moving, man. Keep moving, man. Keep that energy. Come on, yeah. Then you have some pumpy climbing to like a very uh, under satisfying rest into like this slot pocket that's about like a pad and a half deep. And it's just big enough for like your hands to match in it, kind of like pianoing it. And you can shove your foot in a hole, rest. You got this, man. And then you have the red point crux to like the last bolt. Come on. Yep, come on, right here. Yeah, right, come on. Oh. Yeah, come on. Good, come on. Man. Yeah. Right on, come on, man. Let's go. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Hell yeah. Give it everything, man. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Keep pushing. Oh. Come on, dude. Do it, Cam. Come on. Come on. Push hard. Oh. Come on. Yes. Take your time, man. And then you have a bolt of like 12 plus climbing to the top. All right, man. On, Everything you got. Come on, up. Get up there. Uh, Push on those feet. Let's uh, go. Uh, Let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah, come on. There you go. Keep go. Come on. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Come on. Uh, Finish. Uh, yeah, come on. fun to climb. There's a lot of toe hooks. I think I counted, I do like 11 some toe hooks on the climb. And it's really cool and it's very flowy and it looks cool to watch someone climb on it. Dude, give me a bump. <laughs> oh, I'm falling away. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're the X Factor. <laughs> God. Yeah, 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 man. God. That was crazy. Dude. Thank God it was like right out one more time. I rested so much extra. <laughs> Woo! Having my father being Eric Hurst, the famous climbing coach and guru, and me having that close of access to him, it does really help when you're going through training for a trip or like a project like mine where you gotta do everything you can to send it. You need that extra 1%, extra whatever X factor to get you to the chains. And having my dad there is definitely a blessing and it definitely helps a lot. After every day that I try to send it, I would ask him for some advice for what I'm doing. He would give me advice and it's, yeah, it's a really nice thing to have and I'm very appreciative. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that wish they had like a, a pops that was a coach and could give them good training advice and mentorship whenever you need it. As far as specific climbing goals, yeah, I definitely want to climb 9B sometime. I definitely don't think it's just going to be like sending your first 9A plus and then sending your nine, next 9B. Like that is a, a huge difference in like fathomable difference from talking to climbers. So I got to definitely consolidate the 9A plus grade some, get stronger, get better fitness, better flexibility, and then hopefully I can do a 9B and then God willing, a 9B plus someday, but that's far off. And I gotta improve a lot as a climber. <laughs>